Hi everyone, ladies and gentlemen, yours and mine, everyone else out there, Carolina Panthers lost a tough one to the Philadelphia Eagles by the score of 21 to 18. And ladies and gentlemen, the story of this game is as follows. Sam Donald, three interception, Carolina Panthers offensive line not protecting Sam Donald, Carolina Panthers defense not getting enough pressure on Jalen Olds. And ladies and gentlemen, when you have those three things, you're going to lose the game, plus the black punt. And the very frustrating point, ladies and gentlemen, is the die-out Carolina Panthers fan. I saw this coming about two weeks ago. Perhaps Ladies and gentlemen, for those who don't know, I have strong intuition, medium ability. So I saw this coming two weeks ago, actually. Two weeks ago, before the Dallas Cowboys game, I saw the Carolina Panthers having a letdown at home against the Philadelphia Eagles and not playing to their capability and losing the game. I saw this coming. Which is so frustrating to me, ladies and gentlemen. What's so frustrating to me is the Carolina Panthers, honestly, should not lose this game at home to the Philadelphia Eagles. And truthfully, the Carolina Panthers deserve to lose this game. Absolutely deserve to lose this game. Carolina Panthers today did not show up. Point blank, the Carolina Panthers today did not show up. Why? All the, bl all the blame, as Matt Rule like to state, when we don't play well, it's on my shoulder. It's on the coaching staff's shoulder. So Matt Rule, Joe Brady, Phil Snow, Chase Blackmon, you have a lot of explanation to do. You have a lot of answer to give to the national media, to the local media, and you have a lot of apologizing to do. <coughs> I'm so mad I'm coughing. You have a lot of apologizing to do, to give to the fan base. Where the heck were the Carolina Panthers today? Where the heck were the Carolina Panthers today? Because that, ladies and gentlemen, was not the Carolina Panthers that we used to see. Playing out, making us proud, playing good, protective football. Sure, the Carolina Panthers came up with two turnovers, thanks to Dante Akshay Jackson. But then the defense, not a lot of pressure on Jalen Oates. Soft coverage toward the end of the first half. Feels no. Can you please answer to the fan base? Can you please answer to the national and local media? Why? 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 When you're leading, you're leading 15 to, to 6. 15 to 3, pardon me. 15 to 3. With about 35 seconds left. The ball is at the Eagles' 25, 28 yard line. They have to to time out why for crying out loud you called a soft coverage don't you realize that we took time out with the soft coverage they might try to get a field goal they might try to tie the game up they might try to get points before the end of the first half of course not tie the game up because it's impossible to tie the game up with 30 second 35 36 seconds left in the first half, trailing by 12 points. It's impossible, of course. But Phil Snow, for all the great defense of genius that everyone stake you out, calling a soft coverage, calling an absolutely soft coverage in the NFL, is asking for trouble. Time in. Time again. Phil Snow today called soft coverage. Guess what happened? 
Eagles first down, Eagles first down, Eagle completions, Eagles touchdown. And I want to be clear, I'm not putting the entire blame on Phil Snow in the defense. I'm not. Because they had two sacks thanks to Hassan Reddick. That couple of hits on Jalen Olds, two interceptions, one interception, one fumble recovery by Jeremy Chain, which Dante Action Jackson caused it. So the defense, for most part, did their job. But when you don't show up, everyone is responsible for that, including Phil Snow, ladies and gentlemen. I get it. A lot of you are big, big Phil Snow fans out there. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm not a fan of Phil Snow, Joe Brady, or anyone else. I'm a fan of the Carolina Panthers. And when they don't live up to their expectation, no one, and I mean no one, is going to get a free pass from me as far as I go. But again, it's not the entire defense of fault. If I had to break it down to base of 100%, I would put the blame on the defense around 20-25% and the rest of it, the rest of it ladies and gentlemen, I will put the blame on the offensive line. The offensive line guys should be cut, should be absolutely cut. I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen, that Dennis Daly and John Miller are two tremendous spellsmen off the field. I'm pretty sure of that. But on the field, they are two really bad, really, really bad offensive linemen. And ladies and gentlemen, they should, be, should bear a lot of the blame today, the offensive line, not protecting Sam Donald, resulting three sacks, not creating enough running room for the for Chuba Adel, Adel for Choo Choo, and for Royce Freeman to run. They were terrible, the offensive line is all. And even Tyler Moten, for all the great greatness, everyone said he's an all pro. He didn't live up to that today. He got blown up and a screen pass to Ian Thomas, which probably would have resulted in a big chunk of play. But it wasn't to be. The only one I can say played pretty well today on the offensive line is rookie Brady Christianson, who I thought played pretty well outside of one holding penalty. And then I can go to the wide receivers. Dropping the ball. Robbie Anderson, you got paid up contract extension. But honestly, you haven't lived up to that contract extension. I wish, I wish that the Carolina Panthers could get refund for the money that they spent paying you. Unfortunately, it's done. They're not going to get a refund. But Robbie Anderson, you really have to step up your game. You had a terrible drop. Terrible drop and tail down, which a play later resulted in a punt block. So you also bear blame for the game today, for losing the game. And then Sam Donald, ladies and gentlemen, I like Sam Donald. I think he's a good quarterback. I stated in some of my previous videos that I believe Sam Donald is a franchise quarterback, starting quarterback, potentially a top 10 starting quarterback in the NFL but honestly today forget about the offensive line the three interceptions that Sam Donald threw are completely completely inexcusable and unacceptable all three interceptions were terrible 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 throw by Sam Donald there is no excuse for none of those interceptions that he threw. None. And I wish I could tell you, oh, the Carolina Panthers at the moment have a better alternative. With P.J. Walker, or with Josh Morgan, the quarterback on the practice squad. They really don't. And for those who are saying, oh, 
let's go out sign Cam Newton. I'm not sure Cam Newton will do better with a really bad, mediocre offensive line who cannot protect the quarterback. And ladies and gentlemen, you lose as a team, you win as a team. Outside of Dante Jackson, two turnovers, outside of Hassan Reddick, two sacks. Ladies and gentlemen, there isn't really a bright spot from today's games that I can say, oh, the reason the Carolina Panthers lost is because of that or that. The reason the Carolina Panthers lost today is because for whatever reason, they overlooked the Philadelphia Eagles. They assume that since the Eagles are one in three coming to the games at the Carolina Panthers, have an easy cake, 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 cake walk win in the park. And ladies and gentlemen, as I tweeted earlier, before the game, I stated the Carolina Panthers should win this game. But you cannot, you cannot overlook anyone, unless you're playing Madden football, then you, you can look over anyone because when you play the game, even the best team in the football, you can beat them easily. But not in med, but not in real life. In real life, you have to give it all you got. And honestly, the Carolina Panthers deserve to lose the game today. No, not because the Philadelphia Eagles are a, are a much better team than the Carolina Panthers. That is what frustrated me. That is what aggravated me. That is what upsetting me. The Philadelphia Eagles are not a better team than the Carolina Panthers. But you know what the Philadelphia Eagles did today? Which the Carolina Panthers did not do? The Philadelphia Eagles played with a lot of art, with a lot of effort. The Carolina Panthers is the all stayed at home. I don't know. Maybe the Carolina Panthers thought it was a bye week. I don't know, and I'm sure a lot will say, oh, third quarter was a problem for the Carolina Panthers. It was, but so was the first quarter, the second quarter, and the fourth quarter. The Carolina Panthers today did not show up. What we saw today should have not happened. What we saw today was absolutely embarrassment. And the Carolina Panthers deserve to lose this game. And I hope that Matt Rule, that Joe Brady, that Phil Snow, that the entire Carolina Panthers team do a soul searching and ask themselves and be completely honest in stating, we did not show up today. We did not play like we are capable. We deserve to lose this game. And take a look at this game as a potential turnaround. Because last week everyone said, oh, we lost to the Dallas, Dallas Cowboys. We are happy with it. That will be a momentum shift. That will wake us up. So what can we say about today game? Carolina Panthers. I leave you with that. What can we say about today game? What we can say about today game is that you absolutely embarrass absolutely embarrassed not only yourself but the entire fan base i know it's a regular season ladies and gentlemen but i'll be honest with you today was one of the worst lost in carolina panthers history considering the circumstance considering everything today was one of the worst history worst lost in Carolina Panthers history and this team has a lot of explanation to do why did it not show up today why 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 you did not show up today why you did not protect Sam Donald why you throw terrible interception why you could not get enough pressure on Jaden Olds why you kept calling soft play offense defense i'm absolutely embarrassed 
by what I saw from the Carolina Panthers today, ladies and gentlemen. And you know who should be embarrassed? Matt Rule, Joe Brady, Phil Snow, and everyone who play for the Carolina Panthers today. Because, ladies and gentlemen, that, my friend, is absolutely an embarrassment. Result, embarrassment, effort, all around by the Carolina Panthers today.